Good day, YouTubers, and oh no, good day. Yeah. Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, so, it is Tuesday morning. The sun is shining. The boys is chirping. It's just beautiful. You can see I cut the lawn like I showed you or told you yesterday. I'll show you the back. Louis setting up his little traps for the cats. And he's keeping his eye open. Carol walked him this morning and his paws are all dirty so I had to give him like a foot bath. So he didn't transfer all that dirt onto our, into our carpet. So that was fun. Ninja says hello. Ninja. You say hello. Yeah, oh, you're playing shy today. You're playing shy today. Let's see if we can get us into this picture. Do it a little. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm? So there's the perfectly manicured lawn. That's a rain barrel. I'll have to put it up on its stand. So back in the day when we had a dug well, so I guess they would come when they were building this area up, they'd come with a truck with one of those big drills and it would just go bleh, and then bore out a big hole in the ground. And uh, I think it was only like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet deep. Uh, and then they put your pipe down into it and then it goes onto the ground onto your house. And then you had your, your pump inside the house. Cause these all used to be pretty much just cottages. Uh, and the well would run dry in the summertime. Every once in a while it wouldn't fill up very fast. So um, we had the rain barrels to help with our gardens because you know you get all this free free water from the sky uh, it just lands on your roof and goes into the ground but you put a rain barrel there it goes in the rain barrel you can use that water to water all your gardens and stuff so and we just never and then since we got the drilled well we probably don't need them anymore but it saves technically electricity because you just fill up your rain barrels from the rain fill up your watering cans going around you don't have to like pull out the garden hose and turn that on which starts your pump which causes electricity so it's just an environmentally friendly thing and it's just it's like free nature stuff i suggest it i highly recommend it they have like really nice rain barrels i actually made these out of barrels that they moved um uh what was it? i think it was like pear juice or something so wherever they're growing pears and they made juice out of them and they concentrated, they put them in those barrels, ship them to wherever. And then when they got to that place, the barrels are just discarded or sold off or whatever. And so there was a guy somewhere between here and Lindsay, Ontario, uh, that sold them. So I bought two of them and I made two rain barrels and I got to set them up. And Ninja says hi again. Ninja. Um, two things. So I got this letter and stuff from Jen from Essex. Uh, she is, uh, f that's her store or the family store, I think she said. And uh, what's well, a shop that she works at? I'm not sure if she owns it, but uh, she sent two tricky things for the cats and a dog. And then one, two, three, four, five, six items, two of them. Like this will go to Ben and whoever in the house. Then I'll have like five items to... So it's only send four, but uh, I'll do five. Just a good rule because my videos go too long. Like people used to send me a ton of stuff and the video would be 20 minutes long of me eating food. So, um, and then I got another, and I got a letter uh, from Rhonda. Rhonda, you wrote this letter and it doesn't make sense to me. You're asking me to send you a catalog. She's from Pennsylvania. She's asking for a catalog, but I don't have a catalog, so I'm confused as to what she wants me to do. So it's a very confusing letter. Um, yeah, so Rhonda, email me and let me know what this letter me meant. That would be cool. Thank you very much. So I just finished the vlog. Uh, I think I'm going to... Um, I was going to put something else up today. Uh, I was thinking maybe the sushi video, because it shouldn't take me too long to put that together. All right, guys, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I've done my vlog. It's out. It's live. People are commenting. Ding. And uh, that was well planned. 
Uh, so right now I'm going to, like I, I finished the cook and review, like I said the other day, I got it down to 30 minutes even. And uh, so I'm gonna upload that and get that ready to go, make sure the thumbnail's perfect, done. Um, I also got contacted by you now. I think it was before I went to England, I saw that Matt from Where's My Challenge was uh, doing that. And so we uh, we chatted about it for a bit. And he's like, yeah, you should give it a shot. And I'm like, yeah. And so I started a, an account, I guess a kind of a channel, a You Now channel, Ken Domic. And uh, yesterday, sometime in the afternoon, I got contacted by You Now saying, hey, Ken, blah, blah, blah. We'd like you to, to make you a partner with us. And I'm like, cool. So I went through my You Now. Haven't done anything on it yet because... I don't know how, and uh, you have to use like an, the OBS, and you have to hook it up. And you got to like take this link and paste it there, and then do this, and then do that, and it's a little complicated for my little brain, right, Sam? No comment. Uh, so Dan is the guy. He's going to contact me today and he's going to kind of walk me through it through a Skype and he's going to do a shared window thing. So that'll be kind of fun. I'll ask him if he wants to be on the vlog just to say hi. And uh, it's because he's in New York. We're in the same time zone, which is kind of cool. Don't have to worry about screwing that up. I've screwed that up before. What time zone are you in? I waited for two hours for you to call. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just going to put up the cook and review get that out of my way. Uh, I might just work on you now all day today instead of working on an extra video. I tend to overwork myself and I don't need to. I just like putting video out there, content. Video content out there for you. Ninja. Oh, hello. Show how cute you are. Oh, do it. Show it. Show it. Come on. Cuteness. Cuteness. There you go. Do the roll. Do the roll. Over your shoulder, look. Come on. <laughs> oh, and then he does it. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. All right, back to work. Well, it's almost uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I decided to, or I guess I should say I finished the cook and review, it's exported and now it's compressing so I can upload it to YouTube, so that's all good to go. Uh, I did the thumbnail, perfect. Uh, this is, I decided to put up a, this is where I kind of screw myself in the day sometimes. I'm like, hey, I haven't put up a Uncut and Raw this week, so I'm doing the uh, Chicago O'Hare McDonald's buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. So right now I'm just rendering it. And that's kind of got to go through and make sure everything's good to go. Once that, it's, an, it's a pretty simple process. It just takes forever to render. Um, not ever, but it takes time. Even with this lightning fast computer, what I need, like I said in the past, is like two or three of them all hooked together so they can all farm the processors. Um, that would be awesome. Just so it like zip through, pshink, done, export, save me a lot of time. But I don't need to spend that much money. Uh, so that will be done. I'll put that out. I get the phone. We're doing a Skype call in about 10, 10 or last minutes. And I've uh, got my bank information out and ready because we have to uh, hook up their system to my bank account. So when they pay me to do stuff or when I get paid, uh, just like YouTube, it'll go directly into my US account, which is in Canada. So we got to set that up. I got to phone my bank uh, and get that information because I need it now. Out for a walk with the dog. And uh, I just finished my one hour conversation with Dan from you now. And uh, looks like I'm going to be starting doing more live shows. It looks like a lot of fun, uh, better interaction than through uh, any of the other live streaming things that I've done. Um, so when I go live on you now, I can tell you now 
to tell you guys through all my social media from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, and there's one other one on there. Uh, it tells right across the whole board that, hey, Ken's live on you now. You can either go to you now and watch it. You can watch it on fa on YouTube. You, I think you can watch it on Facebook. Uh, we'll find out over time what is the best way for you guys to watch. Come on, Sam, this way. We're going for a walk. Come on. Come on. So uh, we'll give it a shot and then we'll possibly start doing, maybe once a week we'll do a Q&A and once a week also we'll do a live food review. And uh, that would be kind of cool. Well, and you guys can watch, like I said, on, on you now. Uh, I, think, I think you need... I think you need to sign up with you now just to to get that uh, ability to interact and, and it doesn't cost you any money uh, if you don't want to spend money you don't have to so it's but it's just a, another cool way and I can also do it with my phone so I'm gonna possibly try they said it's just easier as the broadcaster to do it from your house uh, and a computer than it is through the app so it's similar to Periscope uh, another thing too is if I do it uh, live uh, through my phone I uh, should be on Wi-Fi because I think it uses up a lot of data so you got to be very careful with these things I'm just going to finish walking Sam and uh, then we'll go home. I hope I got a phone call earlier, but it, I, don't, I don't recognize the number. I did phone them back thinking it's the bike shop and that my bike is ready or there's a problem. So I'm looking forward to that phone call as well. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more editing today. Uh, I want to go work out. Like I said, it would be nice if right now they said, oh, my bike's ready. I could go down and pick my bike, then go work out, then come home, and then go for a real bike ride as opposed to the dog's doing something. Got to go. Back home and just uploading the Uncut and Raw McDonald's Buttermilk Crispy Chicken to my Uncut and Raw channel. Uh, yeah, I also get to see a few things that weren't in the main video. Uh, and this is leftover uh, shrimp that we had from the party and I've been pigging out. I'm having about, I don't know, uh, about eight to 10 shrimp a day until they're all gone. These were from Costco. So I'm just opening up. Oh, there we go. Throw a few shrimp on the Bobby. Mmm. The proper way to eat shrimp right there. Chuck it out. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. Mmm. See that? No meat left. Keep the camera away from the, the chewing of the mouth. Mmm. Yum yum. That's the best. That is like the perfect size shrimp for me. One more. Mmm. If you love shrimp, this is the Kirkland. For 15 bucks. And you could possibly share that with like four other people or four people all together. That would be a perfect amount because that was quite a few in there. Um, it's $24 per kilogram, so it was like just under half, or just over half, sorry. So just over half the price. And it's saying May 8th. Eat faster. <laughs> All right, I'll finish these off and then we'll see if we can do a you now. I'm so excited. See, I messed up. Got all my work done. It is now just almost two o'clock and I'm heading down to the leisure center to go and work out. I just realized I think I forgot a towel. 
I like towels. Anyway, so I did my first you now. I did it with uh, Jen's um, care package because I think all the uh, the you now things I do will either be Q and A or food reviews, and I'm thinking maybe it will all my food reviews from people mailing stuff will be um, the way the live shows will go. So all live shows will be food that people mail me. Fan packages is what I was trying to think of. So fan package live food reviews uh, will hopefully be the you now stuff. And then I'll also just do Q&A and stuff like that and see how it works. See how people like it. See how long we can continue to do that. People like live streaming and and uh, that's that's the way to go maybe all right so it's not going to prevent us from doing other things all the other things that we're doing it's just you got to try all these new things that, that I'm, I, I think they started in 2016 no this is 2016 I don't remember how long ago I think you now is maybe two years old, maybe three, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So we're gonna head down, do our workout, uh, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I should have phoned Ben, see if uh, he wanted to join me, because he gets off school in a half hour. And he's not working tonight, so. So. Uh, It'll be interesting to uh, maybe incorporate also you now into uh, the vlogs. So I could vlog um, I could do live vlogging. So I could there's a certain part of the day that I could live vlog. Maybe lunch with Ken. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Just keep, keep giving comments and suggestions and stuff like that. Show your support with the whole thumbs up all right, I am off to the Leisure Center. Down in Bradford, I don't see anybody on the sitting down bikes, which is a good thing. And I think uh, not working out double time on Friday until now. Gave my right shin a little bit of a break because it was like the muscle on the outside of the leg and my shin that was uh, achy. So I'm not sure if that's a shin splint. And why would I get that riding a bike? I don't know. Pushing it too hard, maybe. I'm gonna start off doing my 30K, sorry, 30 uh, minute warm up. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna back it off. Just a 20 minute warm up. I think that's what was doing my legs in. So just started, only 30 seconds in. Starting at level six. Uh, I like level eight, it's a good good middle of the road resistance. So I'll get that done and then we'll do some strength exercising. Oh boy. All right, 20 minutes is done. I was maintaining, this is a burn 219 calories, but you never know with these things. So I was gonna get a towel and wipe down. Strength training all done. Worked my biceps really hard today. Uh, I managed to use the 35 pound dumbbells and do eight set, sorry, five sets of eight reps, which is the most I've ever done. So I am getting stronger, it's cool. Did my workout, picked Ben up, and we drove Leah back to the school because she picks up kids or something for babysitting, right? Yeah. So we are on our way home, and uh, how was school? It's good. It's a good day. It's good. It's good. It's good. So I don't think we're doing anything crazy tonight. Nothing crazy. I'm sorry. Nothing crazy. We're so sorry we don't have the super exciting lives of all the other. That's right. We're not. We're not. 
out of control crazy YouTubers. Just everyday life stuff. Ben and I are about to fix the flagpole. As you can see, over time the ground pushes up the concrete. I should be able to go over that with my lawnmower, but uh, the flag came apart. Or not the flag, but the flag came apart from the string. I've been wanting to put this back together, so I'll ask Ben if he could help me. He's got his safety shoes on. As always. Those are his um, elf shoes. We've got the red and the green. <laughs> So we'll uh, put the flag in my pocket because flags aren't supposed to touch the ground. So Ben, we're going to dig out this side and then we're going to lie it down, make the hole a little bit bigger and then fix the flagpole. Yeah, let's take out a nice chunk. Nice. All right, so we've got the flag on and uh, Ben's got the hole dug pretty deep. This is our, our second or third attempt at taking it out, digging it out, putting it back in. It doesn't go down far enough. Uh, but I'm hoping this time is the right time. Let's give it one more try. All right, there she flies. Right there, ding a ding, ding ding ding. So it's all good to go. It's it's in the ground as deep as I needed it to be. I just got to rake out the the muck. And it's all over my shoes. <laughs> Wear the wrong footwear. But uh, there she flies, proud and free. Love it. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Wednesday, May 11th, and they are Steve, Sebastian, Ayad, Connor, Keely, and an awesome friend of mine, uh, Dave's wife, Charlene. Happy birthday to you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday. <laughs>